To watch this video in Hindi, go to the settings and select Hindi audio. Namaskar. Welcome to Simplify Your Space. A lot of people ask me how do I keep my home always in a neat and organized state? Well, that is not 100% true, but I do strive to keep it that way most of the time. Then what's the secret? It is quite simple. Just my desire for a tidy space and working towards it. Just a little every day. Keeping a clean home starts with you and your willingness to stay consistent. Adding good habits to your daily life can make homemaking much simpler. Undeniably, it needs some discipline and commitment to begin with. But once you're in the groove, these habits will feel like second nature and keeping your house tidy becomes much easier. Today, I'm going to share some everyday habits that can help you keep your home clean and tidy. Let's begin. The kitchen is the heart of every home. We spend a considerable amount of time there and naturally it tends to get messy quickly. A neat kitchen not only makes your cooking routine smoother but also enhances your overall experience. Here are some simple yet effective tips to keep your kitchen tidy. Keep vegetable peels on the chopping board or in a bowl, not on the countertop. This small step prevents extra mess and saves cleaning time. Place a sheet of newspaper or a kitchen cloth under the chakla. This keeps your countertop spotless and makes cleaning up a breeze. Make it a habit to immediately return items to their place after use. This keeps your kitchen orderly and reduces clutter. If you're washing dishes the next day or have help for this task, soak the utensils overnight. This loosens food particles, making them easier to clean. If you have a dishwasher, run it at night. You will wake up to clean utensils ready for the day. After cooking, take a moment to wipe down the countertops and stove. A clean surface is inviting and ready for your next culinary adventure. Implementing these habits can significantly lighten your kitchen cleaning load, making it a more enjoyable space for everyone. Every time you leave a room, take a moment to glance around. Check if there are items that don't belong there, like empty cups, toys, notebooks, diaries, water bottles, bags or newspapers. Small items can quickly accumulate, turning into clutter that makes the room look untidy. If left unchecked, you might find yourself spending unnecessary time the next day just tidying up. By consistently removing and returning these items to their rightful places, you prevent clutter from building up. Dedicate 15 minutes each night for a quick tidy up session. This simple routine can transform your mornings, letting you wake up to a clean and organized home. Here is a quick checklist for your nightly wind down. Fold throw blankets, straighten cushions and do a general straightening up to invite a welcoming atmosphere. Wipe down tables and surfaces, clearing any clutter. Clear up dining table, gather any scattered utensils and place them in the sink.
ensure all shoes are in the shoe rack not left around the house by investing these few minutes before bed you ensure a clutter free environment in the morning address messes as they occur and don't postpone it until it becomes a major task if you notice any dusty corner grab a cloth or duster and tackle it immediately when you spot a spill in the fridge or stains on the grocery containers clean it right away procrastination only adds to the workload These small cleaning tasks usually take just a minute but make a significant difference. Adopting this proactive approach to cleaning ensures a perpetually tidy home and a more relaxed, manageable cleaning schedule. When we receive parcels from online shopping, we tend to leave them on surfaces like shoe rack, dining table or kitchen counter, creating clutter. Designate an area near the entrance of your home such as a cabinet in the lobby area or a specific basket or hamper. Upon receiving parcels, place them directly in the drop zone. This keeps them out of the way and prevents clutter on dining tables, kitchen counters or other surfaces. If an item needs to be returned or exchanged, store it in the drop zone as well. This keeps everything organized and easily accessible for when you need to send it back. It is also a handy spot for storing items borrowed from friends or neighbors. Keeping these items in the drop zone ensures you won't forget to return them when you leave the house. To ensure your home remains clean and clutter-free, regular decluttering is crucial. The moment you realize you no longer need or enjoy certain items like clothes that have lost their appeal or quality, remove them from your space immediately. This practice is something both my husband and I adhere to strictly. By periodically reviewing and clearing out your wardrobe, you maintain a tidy closet and create space for new additions. However, this principle is not limited to clothing. It applies to all household and kitchen items. During your routine cleaning, if you come across anything that seems redundant or is no longer functional, set it aside without delay. For a systematic approach, have a dedicated declutter bin or bag in a convenient location. I have kept this bin in the balcony of my bedroom where I can temporarily store clothes. Once the bin or bag fills up, I can give to someone needy. For kitchenware or other miscellaneous objects, a separate bag might be useful. The children's room is often the most challenging to keep tidy with frequent bed jumping and scattered toys, games and art supplies. However, some smart strategies can make maintaining this space easier. Firstly, opt for fitted bed sheets in children's room. These sheets have elastic edges that grip the mattress firmly, ensuring the bed remains neat regardless of how much the kids romp around. I have personally been using fitted bed sheets for past 6 years. and it has significantly simplified my morning bed making routine also put a laundry basket in the room this encourages kids to toss their dirty clothes in the basket instead of leaving them around the room a basket with a lid keeps things look neat if storage is an issue and toys and books are often left around consider using a rolling trolley it is handy for organizing and can be easily moved from room to room This way wherever your kids are playing their toys and art supplies can be quickly tidied up. This simple step can help maintain order in your child's room 
and teach them good habits. Last but not the least, embrace house cleaning not as a burden but as a path to personal joy. Remember, a clean home is not just about appearances. It is about the happiness and peace it brings to your life. Adopt the mindset that tidying up is for your own contentment. For instance, I find immense satisfaction in a clean kitchen. It turns cooking from a chore into a delight. So I keep it spotless for my own pleasure. Clean your home for yourself, not for others. Cleaning your home is more than just a task. It is about creating a space that shows you value yourself and wherever you live. Let that thought drive you as you clean and organize. As you see cleaning as a way of looking after yourself, it becomes more than a job. It becomes a way to make you feel good and proud of your home. And that wraps up today's video. It's these little steps or habits that make a big difference in keeping your house clean and they really don't take up much of your time. We have covered this topic in several other videos. You will find the links in the description box below. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I'll see you next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.